I'm going to show you how to take a low mag map or a full size grid map to show the entire grid. So first we have to make sure that we're down at a reasonable magnification. So we usually take our maps at 140x. Then I take the C2 to 100% and I usually work around spot 5 or so. so. I'm going to take a single record image to see what my image looks like. So I like to take my maps at this low mag at bin by 4 because honestly you're not going to get any more information at a bin by 2 image and usually a fairly low exposure time and drift settling time. So we'll just take one single record image and see how it looks. And that's of course a big hole in the carbon but the image looks fine. So now I go to the navigator menu at the top, select montaging and grids and set up full montage. This will give me at 140x with binning by 4 a 10 by 10 montage which is a decent size and we say OK and in the extended header I always like to save all the information so I always tick those boxes and now I can go here and select a folder demo lmm for low mag map ST. Now the stage goes to the center of the mapping area, which in this case will be the center of the entire grid. And then you must always remember on the montage control box to say start. Now it'll tell us here at the bottom of the Cerulean panel that it's montaging and taking piece 1 of 68. So it's going to go to the lower left corner, take an image, and then move up Y, and then go move in X over 1 and then move up in Y again. And then it asks do we want to make a new map from this montage and we say yes. Now you can see this had a very difficult time realigning so I'm going to untick on the montage box treat as a very sloppy montage and with the map highlighted in the navigator window say load map and see if that helps. It does. So now our map is ready and one of the important things we need to do now is close this montage file and also save our navigator file. So this is important because this map that we've made is a series of images with stage coordinates associated with it and then you have the navigator which is basically a text file that this interface can access that ties these stage coordinates to this image.